Hi and welcome to my channel, I am D.I.D. Choi and today we're going to be talking about Logic's articulation sets. So articulation sets is a feature where you can go into the piano roll and you can select each of your MIDI notes and decide what articulation they need to be. The feature was introduced in 10.4 and I didn't really know about it until now. Like I've seen it, I didn't really know what it was for or how to use it. I thought it was just for kind of Logic's built-in instruments that I don't really use that much, so I kind of ignored it until now in 10.6 in 2021, where I discovered it and I used it in my last projects uh, for the QTube scoring relief competition. And I found that it's a huge time saver and it's just really good for virtual orchestration. Traditionally, people have been using either key switching to change articulations or they've been using individual tracks for each articulation. And both methods are pretty good, but for me, I didn't really like either of them because when you're using key switches, you have to go in for each articulation change and program the right key switch. And oftentimes I'll forget which key switch is for what articulation because each library has different key switches and different numbers of articulations as well. So when I'm using key switches, I would be kind of lazy and I would kind of have one articulation play for a whole phrase. And if I need to change an articulation for the next phrase, then I'll switch it then. But I won't do any nitty gritty stuff because it's just too time consuming. Similarly, if you go with the individual articulation approach, uh, the other downside is that your MIDI regions are going to be all over the place and it's kind of hard to keep track of how the phrase is going and what the shape is supposed to be, at least for me. With articulation sets, it's a lot easier to go back and forth between different types of articulations because you're assigning the articulation to the particular MIDI event instead of the phrase or just continuously sticking with one articulation for the whole track. So let's hop onto the computer and we'll talk more about how articulation sets work for virtual orchestration. All right, so now I'm at my computer, so I'll just kind of go over how articulation sets work, first of all. You'll notice that when you go into your Logic and you have a software instrument open, uh, for now, let's just put on some CSS. Actually, I feel like a nice four horns patch today. Here we are in contact. nice four horns patch. So in order to do key switching, what we can do is go to the little lower end of our keyboard. C0 is legato sustain. And then for example, F sharp zero is marcados. F is the shorts, so I can do repetitions. Staccatissimo, staccato, sforzando. C sharp zero is muted. And so on and so forth. And each library will have different key switches and different kind of setups and interfaces. So one thing that some people do might be to disable all of these articulations, just have a sustains patch, and then maybe I'll duplicate this instrument and in this instance of contact, I will just have the shorts. So this will be the kind of individual articulation method and both methods are fine, but with articulation sets, all you need is the one patch. Just have all of your articulations loaded up. If you don't have it already, you go into that inspector menu and open up the track one. At the bottom, you'll see articulation sets. Now, if you have never used these before, then you will have nothing in this little section here. Here I have my own little custom stuff as well as uh, the Babylon art conductor stuff. But anyways, let's start a new articulations thing. And this is the menu you get. It's, you know, it just looks like Logic's old stuff. And I have to admit, it's really clunky and it's pretty terrible. I really hope that Logic updates it very soon because you know, it's a kind of a nightmare to work with, but let's just set up a couple things. So let's uh, just do the basic ones we just talked about. So longs, I'll add another one. And this one will be marcado. 
Now there are one for, let's say, Lucius. I'm going to do an auto. And we'll do a sforzando. Just for now. Uh, obviously, you'll be adding all of them in. Articulation ID is what kind of logic uses to assign these. So this will be the order that they show up in once you are using them. Uh, there's an option to add symbols. So if you're going to be porting your MIDI into a notation program later, or your orchestrator is going to be doing that, having these will be pretty useful. So staccato, you can assign sforzando doesn't have a thing. Maybe you can do a marcado if you want. Maybe uh, for repetitions, I'll do staccatissimo. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it kind of depends on what your writing style is and how you're going to notate it. So if you go from the articulations tab in the middle and go into output, you can see what kind of type you want the command to be and what it will do. So because I'm going by key switching, I will say note on a channel I don't care about right now. And if I go C0, so whenever I choose the longs articulation in the articulation sets menu, it'll send a C0 to the contact instrument and the value, so the velocity level basically. So I want it to be full volume. Same thing for Marcado. Now, it would be really nice if Logic implemented something where I could select all of these and just do note on, but as you can see, it only affects the one that I actually selected. So that's kind of bad. Uh, Marcado was F sharp zero, repetitions was in F zero. Oh, but staccatos was also F zero. And so was forzando. So what do I do here? You can do activate multiple outputs. So for the repetitions, it's, it's note on an F zero, but I also want the mod wheel to be all the way down. So controller one is the mod wheel and the value will be zero. Oh, let's add some value for note on. When you're just doing a note on and your key switch isn't really velocity, velocity specific, you, it doesn't really matter what value velocity you put in there. Uh, but for this staccato, it will matter because I need controller, again, mod wheel one, and it will have to be just above 64 as a velocity level, while sforzando will have to be above that even more so I'll set it at 127. So now that we have some of our articulations chosen, I'll just play in a little quick phrase. So if you go into the editor of Logic, press E for editor, uh, you can notice that there is a new little thing that popped up. So if you don't see it, make sure to stretch it out so that everything is in view. And you'll notice that in the articulations part, all the articulations that we added in are now there. And what we can do is select each note and choose what articulation we want on it. So by default, it should choose your first articulation, which I would recommend choosing as longs because that's probably what you use the most or legato depending on the library. So let's start, maybe the first two I want long. These are kind of shorter, so let's say staccato. Let's say sforzando for that. Here we have some nice repetitions. Let's try sforzando. Let's do sforzando for all of these. And then marcato here. Staccato and leave the last one as long. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds pretty good. So as you can see, articulation sets are awesome for virtual orchestration because instead of having to do key switching or having individual articulations per track, all of the MIDI is just in this one track, and all I have to do is select what note will be what articulation. So you can see this is really awesome. For me especially, like I really love the workflow. Now I'll quickly show you how to do another different type of articulation set setup. Okay, let's try some symphonic string stuff. I'll bring two of the violin patches in. Now if you go into the advanced mode and choose this little lock thing right here, you can choose uh, lock to UACC key switch, and that will kind of set it to Spitfire standardized version of articulation switching. 
So now we'll create a new articulation set for this Spitfire instrument, move that aside. Uh, and I'll just do two articulations for example's sake, longs and spiccato. Now if you look in the manual, it shows which articulation is which, and we have this huge comprehensive list that fills up all like 127 values. So what we'll do is do note on, and I believe it's programmed to C negative one. And then we just add in the value. So I believe long is velocity one, while spiccato is velocity 42. Now this is my other gripe with the logic interface. You can't type in the value. It'll, it'll like, if you just do numbers, it'll just do this flashing thing. And you can't actually like do any other way of inputting this number other than clicking and dragging. So I hope Apple fixes that soon. Anyways, now that this is all set, if I were to play some kind of phrase in, uh, There. Now I can go in again to the articulation editor and I can choose spiccatos for these and leave these as longs, which they are set to by default. Let's see how that sounds. So you can see they're, they, uh, they're not really in time because that's just the way I played it and the longs have this kind of weird delay thing. So even though I thought I was playing decently, uh, it turns out that they weren't right. So again, I could quantize these, of course. And that was just me forgetting to set the mod wheel, so make sure you set the mod wheel before. But basically, yeah, that's how the articulation sets work. Sorry for the interruption, guys. The video was getting a little long, so we'll see you in part two.